in motion. Here they come. Earl Fan pacing, there goes Incredible Striker between horses. Mighty Oak Diamond is there between horses. Carolyn's Ace into the turn they race, and it's Mighty Oak Diamond now taking Karen Pan Dancer. Slips through on the inside second, that's Carolyn's Ace. Parked on the outside third, followed by Kitty Class, tucked in fourth by two lengths, followed by the Source on the outside of horses. That's Incredible Striker, followed now by Ideal Balance. It's Garrick Yates and Sunny Rabbit. But at the end, they're driving by the quarter. 28 and 1 the quarter. And Muddy Oak Diamond draws clear by two lengths. It's Carolyn Say second by three lengths. Pan Dancer. Third, now a length kitty class. Followed by the source. Here comes Ideal Balance. First over on the outside. On the inside, Incredible Striker and Garrick Yates approaching the half mile marker. And Mighty Oak Diamond opens up now by three and a half lengths. It's Carolyn Say second by four lengths. It's Pan Dancer in third and Kitty Class. Fifth. Day seven and two, the race is half over. Into the clubhouse turn, and Mighty Oak Diamond leads the way now by five lengths. It's Carolyn's Ace, second now by four lengths. Pen Dancer in third, it's the source on the inside, followed by Kitty Class on the outside. Ideal Balance three wide, followed now by Garrick Yates, incredible striker and trailing the field at Sunny Rabbit as they race up the back stretch. And your leader up front is still Mighty Oak Diamond. They're by the three quarter mile mark, three quarters, 126 and four. As they they sail around that far turn, and Mighty Oak Diamond is opening up the lead now with every stride. It's Carolyn Zace in second, it's Ideal Balance in third, and Pan Dancer. Here he comes, turning for home. It's Mighty Oak Diamond with the lead on the inside of horses. It's still Incredible Striker, make that Carolyn Zace as they come to the wire. It's Mighty Oak Diamond in full command. Time for the mile, 